Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I cover up my red, ruddy, textured skin, large pores as well. Um, so I'm just going to tell you everything that I do to kind of disguise all of that. And I have people asking me, what do I do with my skin? Like it looks perfect and I'm like, are you kidding me? Let me just show you. I've shown in my videos before, but like I want to show you again. Um, or if you haven't watched my videos, not again, but so you can get up closer. Enlarged pores and they kind of go all over my face. Have them on my nose. Focus. So, yes. And my skin is really red. I have like different colors on my skin. Like this is like white and then like it's like white under my eyes. Then everything else is red. So, let's zoom out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I cover this face of mine. Well, not cover it, but enhance it. So, I usually will wash my face in the shower. I have been exfoliating in the morning. Um, I don't know. I've found that it's kept my skin clearer instead of exfoliating at night. I exfoliate in the morning. And then also, it's like a clean, more smooth surface for my foundation. So, I put on moisturizer after my shower. And then I go in with my Urban Decay D-Slick Spray. So this is what I do. This is for, I have really, really, really oily skin. So if you have oily skin, awesome. If you don't, I probably wouldn't suggest using this because you don't really need it. Um, but yeah, so I go ahead and go in with this. And I kind of do a lot. So after that, I usually let it sit for like a minute just to kind of soak into my skin. And then I need to get a new one of these because I'm like literally trying to squeeze the crap out of it to get the rest out. But it is the number seven Stay Perfect Primer. Focus. Looks like that. And I get mine at Target. It's about $12. But this stuff, I don't know. I just, I did a demonstration on another one of my videos and it is amazing. It covers up those pores like nobody's business. Okay, so I'm going to try to squeeze this out. It's going to be, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because I've used so much of it. I need to go to Target today and get another one. So I just get about that much, eh, like that, and I'll put a little bit like right here, right here, my nose, chin, and forehead, just like that, because that's where my large pores are mostly. And then I just spread it out from there. I'm gonna look down because my mirror's down here. So I just kind of spread it out with two fingers. And it kind of creates just a smooth surface for my foundation over the large pores. And it mattifies it as well. I have been in love with this foundation for the past like two years. I used it on my wedding. It's great for the wedding, um, for the wedding, for a wedding if you're getting married. But it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I am in the shade 112 because I am very fair. This is the second to the lightest shade. Sometimes I'll get the lightest shade and I'll do like under my eyes just to kind of like woo, um, act as concealer, brightening concealer. So usually what I do, it doesn't have a pump or anything, so it's kind of like a, but with clean fingers, I'll go like this and I'll get some on my fingers and I'll just start painting my face. I use like a lot of this stuff because I think it's more of like a, medium coverage but to make it full coverage I just use a lot and then the beauty blender kind of just blends it out and doesn't make it look cakey which I don't think you could make this foundation look cakey like I have textured skin and oily skin and I feel like this doesn't make me look cakey at all so I just kind of paint one side of my face first this is what I've been doing lately I know it's a lot, but you know what? I'm okay with that because this foundation isn't that expensive either. It's like six or seven dollars. So I do that, put the lid on, 
and then I get my beauty blender I use the real technique sponge I like this one so much better than the beauty blender I was hoping to like the beauty blender a lot but it's actually firmer I feel like this one's softer so I just go ahead and start blending and excuse my weird faces as I blend like I'm punching my face but it, it feels so good because it's like cool from I wash my beauty blender each time I use it just because I don't know I like to get the old stains out and then I just kind of pat it into my skin I bring it down under my uh, jawline that way there's not like a line so there's that side and I, I do the forehead last so don't worry I do the forehead but I'm going to go ahead and work on the other side. I have a tissue down here that I wipe the excess that's on my fingers off. Okay. Okay, so there's that side of the face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my nose and my forehead. I do it in like pieces. A lot of people just put it all over their face and then just go for it and blend, but like my foundation is like probably the most important part of my makeup to me to make everything look even and good. And I'll put some on my forehead. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and blend that. And I kind of hold my hair back with my hand that way my um, foundation doesn't get into my hair. Okay, so now I've finished blending with the Beauty Blender. Now, since this is gonna be full coverage, I don't do this every single day. Normally, I just go in with my Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel, and I'll just kinda go for it all over my face. But today, I'm gonna bake, which, because I'm gonna be doing a fancy tutorial after this. So I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. finishing powder, and it's like white and awesome and very fine. So I'll take my beauty blender, pat it off a little bit like that, and just go for it under my eyes like this. And where I get oily, that's where I like to do the baking.
So now that I look crazy, I'll let this sit for like a minute. I don't bake as long as a lot of people do, but yeah. So now I'm gonna go in with my Stay Matte Primer. I almost said Stay Perfect. Stay Matte Powder, not primer. And I'm just gonna dust that all over my face. So I am finished with foundation. This is the finished look for foundation. I'm gonna be doing my makeup and everything today, but um, I just wanna show you guys how I cover up my redness, my big pores, my texture, you know, all of that. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, don't forget to subscribe and I will be doing lots more makeup tutorials. I'm coming with a coming with a video. Every week I'm making a video on Saturdays and then I'm uploading it either Sunday or Monday. So yeah, I'm trying to work on a schedule here because I work full time and I'm trying to, you know, get some more videos out because it's a lot of fun for me and I want to get back into this hobby that I had loved for so many years and then life happened and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So Yes. With all that to say, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to, forget to give it a thumbs up. Maybe even comment. That would be cool. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!